move of God that changes situations. The word of God changes us. And sometimes, maybe that's what's it. Sometimes we praise fraudulently. Because we need a word to fix us. Because if you are saved and redeemed, the devil is no longer your problem. According to last week, when y'all preached, he led captivity captive, didn't he? He gave gifts to all men, didn't he? After he had made an open spectacle of the devil, didn't he get up and say, all power is in my hand? And he said, y'all ain't got to worry about the devil no more because he's already defeated. So the enemy is the inner me. The part of me that won't submit to God. Glory. Glory. Why, why would you? Why would you? Y'all be seated. Y'all be seated. Why would you? I'm going to be here in a minute. They ain't got a lot to say, but hey, man, we're going to say it and get out of here. But why would I? Why would I? Why, why would I want to spend under 18 months trying to fix my credit when I can give God praise for 30 seconds? See, get that time. Why would I go see a, a, a marriage counselor Come on. Oh, I behind that when I can give God glory yeah. and sit down under the wonderful counselor? Yeah. See, what we have done, what we have done in the church, I'm preaching now and I'm getting out of here. What we have done in the church is we have we have commonized God. And we don't even think so. We don't even think we've commonized God. God is not a man that we can stop right there. We ain't even got no further. God is not a man. And then after we come to the conclusion that God is not a man, he shall not lie. Now, because most of us, can I just teach here for a minute? Now, because most of us think lying is untruths, that, that's not biblical. Biblically, what a lie is, is a fact. That means God will never tell you a fact about you. Because God understands that even the facts of life are lies. your life that are a fact but they are not true so therefore a fact is a lie the fact is right now you may be sick in your body but the truth is by his stripes you are already here <laughs> all right i'm gonna leave y'all alone y'all gonna hold your preaching today genesis chapter number 37 pray for me take john man I'm going to try to do this in 20 to 25 minutes so we can go home. Because y'all got something to do. <laughs> Obviously. Hallelujah to God. Sunday when I grew up, the whole day belonged to God. Amen. 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 Yeah, we had Sunday school. And we had Sunday service. Then after Sunday service, you had an afternoon service. Then you had to come back to 6 from YPWW and YWCC. Then you had Sunday night service. And you wind up getting home at 11 o'clock. You still had to do that homework. You get up and go to school the next day. But look how you turned out. You turned out fine, didn't you? But now, but now I, I ain't finna teach you. I promise you I'm not. But now, I'm, I'm finna talk to the leaders. Because, hey, man, y'all don't want this today. But now, but now, but now we are, we, we, we are a church. That is catering to the culture. Yes, y'all are. Yes, y'all are. Yes, y'all are. We're catering to the culture, and we are seeing that. And we think, we think that that's some more. We we say we say disrespectful stuff, and don't mean don't even know it's disrespectful. We got to respect people's time. You ain't got no time. Time belongs to God. Yeah, look how mad y'all getting. I don't want to be at church all day. You want to go to hell? Come on. Okay, come on. You see that? You see how they get mad? Because I'm talking to this hybrid church, this seedless church. And that's why ain't no disciples being made. It's a lot of preaching going on, it's a lot of conferences, but ain't nobody being disciple. Because you could have a Sunday behind. You got to be household. You got to have seed in order to bear fruit. Glory. 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 
Glory to God. Now everybody want to be raised up, Bishop, because I'm Satan. Amen. Praise the Lord. There used to be a time when we were planted and grounded. God can't raise you up if you can't be planted nowhere. No, this is for the leaders. This is going to encourage the leaders today so y'all can, can sit down and let them preach. So they can stop rushing and they can just enjoy God and give you everything. Because your leader ain't even gave you all of what God want to give them. Because as soon as they get good in the message, y'all ready to go. Amen. 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 So Genesis, let me get to the good stuff. Man. Genesis 37. That was good to me. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm a holiness preacher. Amen. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 37, verse number five. It is our custom to stand for the reading of the word. Amen. I'm gonna ask that you stand for the reading of the word. You won't be up that long. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Genesis 37, verse 5. You have to say amen. Amen. You still looking? You need Sunday school. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Real bad. Amen. That's the first book in the Bible. Amen. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter number 37, verse number 5. The word of the Lord reads, and Joseph dreamed a dream. You may be seated. Joseph dreamed a dream. Joseph. Joseph. Dream. A dream. Yeah. Dream a dream. Yeah. Joseph dreamed a dream. Yeah. Talking to our leaders, but I'm talking to every leader. And amen. Praise the Lord. The subject is not for the leaders. The subject is for those of you who are under the leader. Even under. Yeah. Under. Yeah. Under. Yeah. under. Not they go to their church, but who are under. Come on. Because there is a difference. There is a difference. You can go to somebody's church and not be under them. Ah, yeah, I I, what, what I was in reason and reading, then I give you all my subject and hope this bless you, Bishop Cousin. Give me a high five. I, I think I did something good. Amen. Praise the Lord. But 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 it, 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 my 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 proof is in Matthew, I believe it's chapter sixteen, where Jesus went over. There was a Canaanite woman. You know, she hollered. Amen. Got a child healed, and Jesus stayed over there in the Gentile area. Uh -huh. And then he fed 4,000. And he had to watch this, watch this. He fed 4,000. When he fed the 4,000, he said, um, he said, they need something to eat. And he said, I can't send them away fasting because they are faint before they get back to where they're going. You know what he said? You know what he said? He said, How many loaves do we have? Do we have? His people were holding out because they didn't like who Jesus was preaching to. We got seven and Jesus took the seven loaves from his disciples. Because there was something in them. I saw, there was something about good teaching that causes us as congregants to get selfish. He fed them. He fed them. He fed them. And then when he fed them, when he fed them, he, he, uh, he had an altercation with some Pharisees. I'm, I'm coming back here. Uh, this is just to prove a point for me and Bishop Cousins and, and Bishop Planet and Amen Prince of Lord. They move on. But uh, but um, he, he said this and then he got into an altercation with the Pharisees. And then he said this to his disciples. He said, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. You know why he said that? You know why he said that? Because your leader ain't slow. Your leader know when somebody else got your attention. They said, Tashabu, I hope this all right today. You know what he said? He said, they, he said, they said they thought it's because they forgot to take bread. Because really, they didn't forget to take bread. They did not take bread because they thought Jesus was going to take the bread and give it to somebody else they didn't like. Jesus like, no, I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about bread. I'm talking about the doctrine. You got to be careful of who indoctrinates you. Your doctrine, tell your neighbor, your doctrine got to come from your house now you can go somewhere and get inspiration but the doctrine got to come from your house <laughs> so you should not sit under a house where you don't respect the doctrine there are challenging spirits in this last hour that sit in your church while you preaching you done studied 80 hours and they trying to dissect your message because of what somebody else said. God hear that. God hear that. God. 
God here today. God here today. Jesus, you know what he said. You know, he's not just give y'all two small work. messages and then we'll get out of here. You know what Jesus said? He said, the problem is, the problem is, Bishop Randolph, here is the problem, Bishop Cousins, that Jesus said that this is what the problem was. Uh -huh. Jesus took them somewhere and said, I know what the problem is. Uh -huh. Who do men say that I am? I want to know who y'all been talking to. Because your response is going to tell me who you've been hanging out with. They was quick to answer. They thought they was doing something good. They was quick to answer. Some say Elias. Some say John the Baptist. I'm there. Some say one of the other prophets. And then Jesus messes them up. He messes them up. I'm the behold. And he shows them that they are not ready for the grace that he wants to give them. Who do you say that I am? Then it got quiet. It got quiet. Because you know what the problem is? Come on, Dad. They miss the understanding. Because they don't want to stand under you. There are people that are in your church that think they are on your level. I did it when I was young. I thought because I was an assistant pastor, I knew what it felt like to be a pastor. Stepped in the pastorate and said, I didn't know. See, what, what we do is, what we do, can I talk here for a second? What we do is, what we do is, what we do, I'm going to just make it easy for them to preach next week. Y'all going to shout the victory. I know who shout. Because what we do is, what we do is, we, we think, we think, because see, sometimes, here is the truth. Here is the truth, because I like to teach more than I like to preach. Here is the truth. Some, some of you all's gifts may be stronger than ours. But that's all right. Uh -huh. It's a gift. That's right. uh, it's a gift. Uh, but every gift come got on. to come to the office. Uh -huh. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. Got to report to the office. Uh -huh. And look, look what happens. Look what happens. And they don't even understand that the power of their gift is them sitting under your oil. Come on. Amen. 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 I don't care how anointed they think they are. Let's show Bishop Randolph. Let them leave you wrong and try to do it. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. So who do you say that I am? Who do you say that I am? Because see, it is. Lord, thank you. Thank you today. It is possible to be gifted and locked out. That's right, sir. That's right. Out the gate. Listen to what the Bible says. I, I don't got notes. I don't, I don't care any notes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I stopped writing notes in the sixth grade. Amen. Praise the Lord. But, but look what happened. Look what happened. Look what happened. Jesus said, Jesus said, who do you say that I am? And, and, and did nobody say nothing? Did nobody say nothing? And God looked down from heaven and he said, I'm tired of y'all looking dumb. We give Peter too much credit. Teach, Dad. Teach. A revelation is really a check of your humility. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We think because we get revelation that that makes us relevant. But God can give you a revelation. Mato shut up. Didn't he do it with that donkey? I wanted to call it another name, but some of y'all cuss and y'all start snickering. He gave him a revelation, opened up his eyes, and he started talking. Shut your because, because the purpose of his talking was only to save a life. Then he went back to man. God, they're not liking this. They're not liking this. I, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be to the, I'll be to the, to the thing in a minute. So they said, they said Jesus, Jesus blasted. God blasted into Peter. God blasted into Peter. Peter did not come up with this on his own. Because if you come up with, with it on your own, it's not a revelation. It's inspiration. You know, because some, somewhere along the line, we'd have made revelation like Dr. Seuss. Uh -huh. It rhymed. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. But if it does not point back to Jesus. Right, right, right. Work that. If it does not cause me to know who Jesus is, it ain't a revelation. But I said all of that to say this. You can be gifted and locked out because he told Peter. Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus checks him real quick. Because even when he said it, he was arrogant. He checked him. He checked him. And he said, wait a minute, brother. Flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you. You didn't get this through your internet. But my father, which is in heaven, I want you to know where you got that from. Because God ain't got no problem giving us the victory as long as we don't take his glory. And we like to take the We like to take the glory of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The spirit of prophecy is the revelation of Jesus. According to the book of Revelation. And he says, he says, flesh and blood, he had to check him first. Flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you. Now let me tell you who you are, but you ain't. Yet. Thou art Peter. Look at God. Right. Libya so. Look at God speaking into his spirit to save his life. If God wouldn't have spoken to Peter's spirit, Peter would have wrecked his whole life. So God had to put a word in Peter because God don't watch over you. He watches over his word to perform. To perform. Jesus. <laughs> he says, he says, he says, thou art Peter. Thou art Peter, and that's it for you. That's all I want you to know. And upon this rock, upon this rock, this rock, you're a stone. You're a stone. And upon this rock, Lord, I wish I could undo some stuff in here. Because now we got this, we got this thing now where everybody said, I ain't gotta go to church. I am the church. No, you're not. 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 Your Bible will tell you, know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And it is his spirit that dwells within you all. We are not a church. Your Peter will tell you that we are lively stones. Jesus is the chief cornerstone. Because everybody now trying to get out of coming to church. Because they saying they are the you ain't the tell them you ain't the church. You a lively stone. That's, that, that, oh, that's the power of offense. Offense separates us from each other. How to shut up. And then it breaks down the church. Because you cannot be the church taking it without me. You can't be the church without me and the church. That's the book. Come on. That's the book. That's the book. Look what like that. Yeah, they don't, they don't like it. They're going to fight. They're they going to go home and do it. Look on Wikipedia. Yeah. That's the book. It's from heaven. See, look what happens. Look what happens. Look what happens. Look what happens. He said, Thou art Peter, stone, and upon this rock, truth, that I am the Christ. Yeah, yeah. I will build my church. He builds his church on the foundation that he is the anointed. He is the source of the anointing. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against her. We say it. But that's King James Version. It's her. The church is a her. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a her. It's his wife. Ephesians 5 ain't got nothing to do with you and your regular marriage. If you read it, It's saying, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. That's the book. That's the book, man. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. So he says, he says, he says, and the gates of hell should not be able to prevail against her. Against her gates, 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 gates. So, so Bishop Blandon, we give we give hell too much power. Cause you know what happens? You know what gates are meant for? Keeping people out. Mm. So why why do we always say the devil is attacking us? Come on, dad, teach, teach, dad, teach. If the devil is attacking you, you're behind the gate. Behind the gate. That's right. Come on. 
it is our responsibility. Oh, y'all not liking me today. It is our responsibility to assault the gate. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Shall not prevail. That means that that means that means that means anybody in your family that's connected to you that's not saved is supposed to be saved if you got the keys. If you got the keys, you got the keys. Hence, hence a prime. You can be anointed but locked out. Cause do you not know? Do you not know? Bishop, because I can be honest with you and Bishop Bland and Bishop Randolph, that there was a time where my gift was stronger than my prayer life. Uh -huh. Teach us that. Teach us that. Yes, sir. Teach us that. Yes, sir. And I thought my gift substituted for my prayer life. So now I depended, I, I depended on a certain atmosphere, certain, certain key, certain sound to be able to. I don't know when we started doing this, we became doctors. Operate. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't have no prayer life. No prayer life. Come on, that teach us. Moho Shanama. But now, but now that Bishop Blandon, Bishop, Bishop Randolph, and Bishop Cousins walk in the office uh -huh. of the prophet, uh -huh. it is because God uh -huh. built their prayer life up to a point where he can trust their mouth. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And they don't have to feel no anointing to be able to speak. Because the power of God is not in what I feel, it's what I hear. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by. Watch this. Uh oh, wait a minute. The Bible wasn't written yet, though. So if you got the Holy Ghost and you say something under the unction of the Holy Ghost, then they supposed to hear the word of the Lord. Come on. Come on. One of the things that we despise about us as leaders, people despise about on, us, man. that when we're talking, God is talking. So the way they get out of receiving the God that's talking through us is they have to examine our life to see if they can find fault in us, to see whether or not they receive the word of the Lord. But even if you're wrong, preach it right. You see that? You see that? You see that? He said to Moshe, oh, tell your neighbor, even if I'm dead wrong, if I preach it right, you can use my wrong to get out of living right. Because now we try to use people lives. Lord, I'm supposed to be in Genesis. The gates of hell shall not prevail against her. And look at let me say, look at all of this that comes with just knowing who God is. The people that know their God shall do mighty exploits. And I'm going to give you some keys. Who to who? Who he give the keys to? Church. He didn't give them to Peter. He gave them to the church. The church. And and whatsoever. Not whosoever. Because they go. See, we like to bind people. Whatsoever. Oh, my shake. You Bind, you uh -huh. bind. Now, can I talk here for a second? Yes, this this homily number one. Then we're gonna be quick at the other. <laughs> but they tired. I see them. They like, hey man, praise the Lord. But look, 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 look. Whatsoever you bind, can we talk bind? Yes. Can we talk bind? Every time you see the word bind in the Bible, it don't mean the same thing. That's right. This word bind in the Greek is 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 a is it's like a contract. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's like a contract. It's a binding agreement. Uh -huh. So the first thing he talks about. Is coming into agreement. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. He said, when you get these keys, whatever you bind uh -huh. on earth, whatever uh -huh. you come into agreement with on earth, uh -huh. the only thing you're doing is agreeing with what I've already agreed with in heaven. Uh -huh. yes. that. 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 And whatsoever you loose, uh -huh. loose, 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 release, uh -huh. release, uh -huh. not fight with. Uh -huh. Bishop it watch their eyes. <laughs> Watch him, watch, watch him, watch the eyes. So, according to this text, before the Holy Ghost, there should be no warfare in the believer's life. That's right. 
Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Agree? Release. That's it. That's it. Warfare, warfare is when I stand in the middle. Lord, Dad. And one day I agree with God, and then the next day I want to release it, and then the next day I want to hold on to it. Some days you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Whatever you bind on earth is already bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, release from the earth. Release. See, we not by so mind. It's going to be released in heaven. Then he says, then he says, then he says, then he says, okay, let's go. Come for the die. I got to die. I've got to die. And guess who spoke up? The one with the revelation. Tried to stop him from doing his destiny. Come on. Tried to stop him. That, that, you see, I like how God do that. Uh -huh. Tried to stop him from doing his destiny. Uh -huh. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus himself, another word for dream. Dream ain't the dreams y'all be talking about. Because y'all, y'all, know what y'all be dreaming about. Talking about the Lord said it. And, and, and it's always you rich and always you married to somebody. And it's all, it ain't got nothing to do with purpose. But that word dream is, is a divine vision from God while you sleep. So Jesus said, I had a dream, and I know I know the end of this. I know the end of this. I know the end of this. So in our text, as I come to my close, in our text, I promise you, as I come to my close, we, we are reading about a young man that we know about by the name of Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. There's a lot of young Josephs in here. Joseph is, he is, he is the firstborn son of a woman by the name of of Rachel, That's right. Rachel, uh -huh. and Rachel, Rachel. In my opinion, according to my studies, was the wrong woman for, for Israel. Uh -huh. His name is Israel. Yeah, 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 my soul. And I know she was the wrong woman by the way she died. She died trying to curse that man's baby. She was she was on the table and she was in labor. Y'all gonna y'all gonna be y'all gonna say quiet? She was in labor and she said, I, I, my whole life been messed up following this man. Uh -huh. oh, we, we got we got we got members like that. We we got members whose lives are messed up. They think their lives are messed up from following, but if they would have followed, their life wouldn't have been messed up. Their life is messed up because they fought the whole way. Just because you behind me don't mean you're following. So, so your Bible tell you, say your Bible tell you that 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 Jacob, that Jacob, see this is what happens. Jacob marries marries them outside of the wheel before before he meets God. Before he he know about God, but he ain't met God yet. See, a lot of y'all know about God, but y'all have not met God yet. Because they have not met God yet. Your Bible said that that he went, he went and he walked, he walked in the office of his mama. Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, Rebecca. And, 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 and uh, 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 Rebecca got him kicked out the crib. Amen. Praise the Lord with the birthright. He, you know, he stole, he ain't steal it. God said he was going to give it to him, but he thought he had to be slick and help God out. I'm, I'm on my way out of here. So you know what your Bible said? Your Bible said that that that, that Rebecca said, bro, you got to get out of here. Your, 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 your brother is mad with you. He's mad with you. And, and because you, you you took his birthright. But, but the truth of the matter is he lost his birthright by exalting his appetite. See, see, we, we, some of us are never going to be as graced as God want us to be until we get our appetite up under control. Now, your appetite is, 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 is not what you eat, is, but, but it's what you, what you desire. Your desire. Take it in. I got to get my desires under control. Oh, yeah. Because, because, but, because, but, because, what would happen is the enemy will always give you an opportunity for your desire. Mm -hmm. That's why y'all say rookie stuff like it seemed like it was easier for me before I got saved. Because the devil want to keep feeding you your desires to keep you distracted from God until grace runs out. So you know what happens? He goes over there. He works for labor. And he says, "I want that girl, Rachel. She looked good. She looked good. We're both of them, according to the text. Because y'all like to preach like Leo was ugly." 
ugly. Leo was not she ugly. Was not ugly. She wasn't Thank ugly. You. Matter of fact, according to, according to the Bible, they believed that they were twins. Uh, the only difference between Leo and Rachel was their eyes. Leo, Leo was crying and her eyes were dark because she felt like she was going out of time. She was running out of time. Because she was, the, she was the older of the two. Uh -huh. And everybody that came around always wanted Rachel. They didn't want to mess with Leah. They wanted Rachel. So, so Leah is sitting there. Come on, Charlie. Leah is sitting there. When Leah is sitting there. How about Laban says, I'm going I'm to I'm get you married, girl. I got you. You know what your Bible says? Your Bible says he worked seven years for, for Rachel. But your Bible says that, that Laban now sneaks her into the tent. That's what he did. He sneaks her into the tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he causes them to get married. He causes them to get married. He puts her. See, some, wait, wait a minute. 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 If they got married, Bishop Randolph, according to the biblical text, if they got married, it had to be daytime. So, so watch this. Watch this. Then he was not tricked. He was blinded by his passion. He didn't want commitment. He just wanted a release. And see, most of us are just in church for a release. So your Bible will tell you, I'm on my way out of here. Bishop Cousin, you might have to help me preach this thing because I ain't got no voice. So your Bible will tell you, your Bible will tell you, your Bible will tell you that he marries Leah. Then he wakes up and now he tries to lie and say, you tricked me. Uh-uh. I didn't trick you, brother. You saw who that was. Uh, yeah. So your Bible will say, work seven more years for me and I'll give you my other daughter, Rachel. And he works seven more years and when he works seven more years, he gets Rachel. And then when he gets Rachel, he said, I got to dip out of here. It's time for me to go because I, I got I, I got to go do my own thing now. So now, what he does is he tricks Laban. Y'all know what he did. He put the stick in the water and everything that the whole shop that had spots was his. Huh? Yeah. Because that, that was a, that was a, that, that, that was a, that, there's something that was psychosomatic in their mind with, with those, what was it? Goat sheep that, that, that when you put the wood in the water, that, that, that the sheep would see it and their skin would automatically change. But then when they walked away from the water it changed back so so now what your bible would tell you is that he leaves with an inheritance and when he leaves with an inheritance what he does not know is that the woman he won't don't even want his god she leaves she leaves the crib but she makes sure that she brings some idolatry with her she's sitting on her god she's sitting on her god yeah so she says i'm with you but i ain't serving your god so now so now, so now, this is why Rachel's womb was not open because she was not submitted to God. This is why it's hard out there for a pimp because you are not submitted to God. So now, what happens is, hi, uh, this is why every day you hustling because you're not submitted to God. I serve a God. Uh, he has the Mahoshanda uh, that can let you work a part time job and give you full time pay. I serve. A God, a shot, that if you faithful, huh, he'll give you your own hours and give you overflow. Tell your nigga, but you got to commit. You got to commit. I'm on my way, Bishop Cousins. You don't have to help me. So your Bible will tell you. Your Bible, shut down. Your Bible will tell you. Tell you I'm going to be a shot for to go home. Your Bible will tell you that he's walking with them. He's walking with them. And because, watch this. This is what I love about this text, Bishop Randolph. And I hope that it blesses you today. This is what I love about this text. God wasn't going to help you until they start hating. I'm sure I, your Bible says when God saw that Leah was hated, I shot, I, uh, he opened up her womb. I shot. Y'all need to shut y'all rookie mouths up. Talking about you tired of people hating on you. Hatred is the qualification uh, for an open womb. I shot, no shot. I, oh, be an opposition. I shot, uh, is the opportunity. I know uh, to see God in a real way. So you know what your Bible says, Josh. I'm out of here. Your Bible will tell you that she started giving birth to children. I know, Shah. Then after a while, after a while, she got tired. She got tired because she understood that she was having this man's baby, but she didn't have this man's affection. Yeah. So your Bible will tell you that, 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 that now Rachel grabs her servant. I'm on my way out. She grabs her servant. And now, now, 
I'm setting y'all up for the text. She grabs her servant, and now her servant has children. Uh -huh. and, then, and then your Bible said that, that Leah grabs her servant. Uh -huh. Her servant start having children. And then, and then your Bible said that God opened Leah's womb one more time. Uh -huh. Yeah. I knew shut up. And when Leah got pregnant, I know shy. Leah said, I'm going to cherish this baby right here. Uh -huh. I done had all them other scam boogers for him. But she called that baby Judah. Uh, sure, uh, and she said, now I'm going to praise the Lord. Uh, yeah, uh, I've been thanking this man my whole five, for giving me these children. But he didn't give me these children. Uh, everything that happened to me that was good, God, God did it. So your Bible will tell you, your Bible will tell you that now, that now, that now, that now God opens Rachel's womb. And when God opens Rachel's womb, she has a boy by the name of Joseph. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, then towards the end of her life, we there, y'all, going towards the end of her life, your mind would say she has one more son, one more son, and his name is Benjamin. If I had time, Bishop Cousin, I would talk about that Benjamite spirit that's in the church on today because that tribe of Benjamin was a small tribe. Yeah, it was an entitled tribe. It was a tribe that had to be paid to do everything. It was a tribe. He had my shanda. There was anointed to hold up the right hand, but Hamdabu who would held the right hand hostage. Hamdabu because it was entitled. Tell your neighbor, please, whatever you do, don't become a Benjamite. Don't become Saul was a Benjamite. Saul in the New Testament was a Benjamite. God always has to whoop the Benjamites because they were spoiled. I will tell you, y'all have got mad because we are in a generation of Benjamite. She yeah. said, he said, she said, watch this, watch this. You see, you, let me show you why. Let me show you why they spoil. Let me show you why they spoil. Because they have a dual personality. They have a dual personality because in the womb they were called bitterness. So they walk around with a spirit of entitlement. And as soon as things don't go their way, immediately they get Bitter, oh shy. You ain't lived long enough to be bitter, baby. I shy. You ain't got no gray hair. Shit, oh shy. Milk still running down your chin. So why? Tell your neighbor why are you bitter? Why? 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 So your Bible will tell you. I got to preach to you all today. Your Bible will tell you, oh shy, that she calls him bitterness, yeah. son of my bitterness. Hi, yeah. She was trying to get her son to walk in her bitterness. Oh, y'all better stop that foolishness. Try to pass down your bitterness uh, to people that are under you. That's why your leader uh, don't trust you to disciple nobody. Uh, because what you're trying to do uh, is infect them with your bitterness. Uh, tell them that you can give me your God, but don't give me your experience. So look what happens. Look what happens. Look what happens. Look what happens. Look what happens in the text. The text says, the text says, the text says, for the first time in Jacob's life, because he met with God, Ashanda, he was left alone and he wrestled with God. He wrestled with Jesus. He wrestled with an angel. And now your Bible will tell you that Jacob wrestled with an angel. And he said, I will not let you go till you bless my soul. I know I'm going back, but I'm coming back forward. And he says, he said, let me go for the day breaking. And Jacob said, you got to bless me. Now, Jacob had all of this money. He had uh, all of these children. He had all of these houses. Uh, he had everything. So what is a blessing? And you, here is the blessing. He said, what is your name? Uh -huh. And you done got so used to what people called you. Huh? Now you think that's your identity. Huh? He says, my name is Jacob. Huh? And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, huh? but Israel. Huh? For as a prince, you have wrestled with God. Y'all read your Bible. Huh? So now, uh, Israel now is walking around. Who uh, shot the bull? Uh, tell your neighbor, change hurts. Uh, yeah, uh, he's walking around, and there's evidence uh, that he's been changed. I'm tired of people coming to church uh, talking about they've been changed, but we don't see no evidence of change. Uh, talk about, uh, yeah, your walk, your walk got to be different. Uh, when Jacob came out the presence of God, uh, he was walking different uh, because the things I used to do, I can't. My whole life has changed since you came in. I shall know since God has changed me. So I'm 
gone because y'all not liking me. So look, look what happens now in the Bible. Huh? Jacob, because he has a new nature. Huh? He had a new name, but he had to accept that nature. Huh? See, here is the problem. Huh? We call ourselves Christians, huh? but we have not accepted the nature huh? that comes with being a Christian. Huh? So you know what your Bible says. Huh? Bishop Cousins, get ready to help me out. Huh? Your Bible will tell you. Huh? That after she dies, huh, then Jacob starts living better. Oh, huh? huh? oh God, here. Yeah, huh? Y'all ain't gonna say nothing today. Huh? Cause sometimes huh, God said you got to cut some people loose huh, in order to live better. Huh? Some of y'all think huh, y'all supposed to be around people forever. How do you shy? But in this hour, Josh, huh, God is calling us to separate from people. Huh? Tell you they if you want to live better, huh? you got to learn how to separate yourself huh? from some people. Huh? You got to know oh, Shanda, huh? not just their presence, huh? but you got to learn how to separate yourself, huh? even from what they say. Huh? There are some things, Bishop Cousins, huh? I cannot hear no more. Because if I hear it and it get in my spirit, I'm going to go back to a place and you might see me coming. Locked and loaded. But I got to stay away from people that want to pull me back into Jacob. Tell you that I can't go back to being Jacob. I can't, I can't, I can't. I got stuff under me now that's looking up to me. I can't go back to my old nature. I got responsibilities now. I can't go back to being who I want. Was. So you know what your Bible says. Your Bible will tell you in the book of Genesis chapter 37. I'm going home now. Thank you for inviting me out tonight. In the book of Genesis chapter 37, your Bible will tell you that Jacob, he loved Joseph because Joseph was the son of his old age. And because he was the son of his old age, he gave him a coat. Tell your neighbor God is about to give you a coat. It was a coat of many colors, Edward. Uh, and when he gave him the coat, your Bible would tell you, uh, I'm ready to go home now. Uh, your Bible would tell you that when he gave him the coat, uh, it caused all of his stepbrothers uh, to hate him. Uh, the reason that they hated him uh, is because they did not share the same blood. Uh, they came from another mother. Uh, in other words, they came from a different church. Uh, I don't know what's going on in this last hour, uh, but it seemed like those of us that are really anointed huh? he and the Moho are being persecuted huh? by the multitudes huh? y'all come on and go home huh? for your Bible will tell you huh? that he had a coat of many colors huh? and because Jacob gave him the coat, huh? your Bible will tell you his brothers huh? hated him huh? and then after he got the coat huh? I believe that Israel huh? prayed over Jacob's coat huh? because when he prayed over the coat huh? as soon as he put the coat on he started dreaming. Good God Almighty. You ain't gonna never see nothing about your church until you embrace your leader's mantle. You can't come into nobody's nobody's church with your own mantle. Tell your neighbor. Oh, I feel like preaching now. I said, tell your neighbor. You got to get your leader's spirit. So the Bible says that he had a cold. And because he dreamed the dream, the only thing he do, the only thing he did was fall asleep and hear from God. There were some people from this right door that a man from the simple path that I heard. Said, he woke up and tried to share the dream. Here is where we messed up. We thought that everybody that was in the sanctuary was a part of the church. But I need you to tell your neighbor, neighbor, do you belong to God? Because in this season, I can be sharing what the Lord said. He was going to 
be greater huh, than his daddy. Huh, I need you huh, to look at your neighbor. Huh, I said, neighbor, huh, you gonna be greater huh, when you get grounded. Huh, Cause it's wrong huh, as you see greatness huh, and superiority. Huh, you ain't ready huh, for what God called you huh, to walk into. Huh, so your Bible, huh, your Bible will tell you huh, that he had huh, another dream. Huh, Man, huh? He had huh? another dream, huh? and he told it, huh? Mama and Daddy, huh? I saw huh? y'all up under me, huh? and one day huh? your Bible huh? would tell you, huh? I feel strength now. Huh? I said your Bible huh? would tell you huh? that one day huh? his stepbrother huh? would not tend to huh? the sheep, huh? but they really wanted huh? They was out there, huh, messing around, huh, with the strange women, huh, and Jacob, huh, said, Joseph, huh, go find your brothers, huh, and he said, huh, I'll go find them, huh, and you know what happened, huh, Joseph, huh, stop looking, huh, come on, preacher, huh, for his brothers, huh, and when he found, huh, his brothers, huh, your Bible, huh, will tell you, huh, when they saw, huh, they conspired huh, to kill him. Huh. And huh, I preach to y'all huh, and tell you huh, the reason huh, why they don't like you. Because huh, they see you. Huh, they see you coming. Huh. God huh, is getting ready huh, to take you huh, to another level. Huh, and they can hate huh, all they want. Huh, but tell your neighbor, huh, I'm still coming. Huh, they cannot like you. Huh, but I'm still coming. Huh, Shrink back huh, and settle down huh, because you are comfortable huh, with my grace. Huh. Your Bible, huh, your Bible will tell you huh, that when they got there, huh, they took his coat, huh, dipped it in goat blood, huh, threw it huh, in the pit, huh, but the pit huh, was empty. Huh. Tell your neighbor, huh, the devil huh, tried huh, to kill me, huh, but he forgot. Huh, the water, huh? the devil, huh? tried huh? to take me under, huh? but he forgot huh? the water. Huh? They took huh? his coat, huh? ask me why. Huh? I said they took huh? his coat, huh? ask me why. Huh? Because God huh? had to deliver huh? Joseph huh? from thinking huh? he was just huh? his garment. Huh? Your neighbor, huh? I'm anointed, huh? With the coat, huh? But if you take it, huh? Guess what, huh? I'm still, huh? Anointed, huh? Eo Shaka, huh? Matter of fact, huh? Because, huh? I got stripped, huh? Of my garment, huh? I got took, huh? Out of my house, huh? And when I lost, huh? My garment, huh? I got gone, huh? Cause guess what, huh? When he went to Egypt, huh? The Lord, huh? Was with him. Come here, Bible, for 
the spirit of heaven is hot. Huh? 
and rest. Uh-huh. He's going to make sure you get to where you were supposed to be. I need you to shout one word of prophecy to your neighbor. This is the word of prophecy to Bishop, to every leader. And this is the word of prophecy. I need you to shout at your neighbor and shout this one word. Shout acceleration. Prophet. 
something to catch us up. To catch us up. The Lord said to tell some of you saints, y'all need to get rid of this doom and gloom. Y'all are exalting everything that ain't God. God said it can't end like this. Come on, see, it can't end in a night. Can't end like this. No more on the outside. God ain't gonna let you go to your grave frustrated. No, 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 you surrender, yes, Lord. camera man. If you surrender, he gonna fix your wrongs. He gonna he gonna fix them. You ain't gonna have to walk in no courthouse with no suit and no packet. God gonna fix it. You ain't laying down on them crutches. God God said he's going to make sure that everybody that submit to him be like David when you die full of days 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 God is about to renew your youth because there's some things that you thought you missed. God's going to bring them back. Bring them back around. Not just in the Not just in any answer. Not just in ministry. But in business. Let them talk. Let them talk. God going to use you. Yep. And you. To help your family keep everything. I hear God. Oh, oh my. Who, who, who connected to you? Woo. I hear Sheila. Who is that? Woo. Go to the Labandia. God. Baby, Papa, shake it. The other one of the whole shipping. Baby, Papa, It ain't too late to record. That's what I hear God saying. That's what I hear him saying. Yes. 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 God ain't gonna let y'all wither up where y'all at. Where y'all and, and I'm not talking about y'all church, but I'm talking then as a bus side. He not gonna let y'all wither up. God is saying that being said. Ain't no way in the world you're supposed to serve in a jurisdiction. He's spoken into Bush. That's him. 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 This is a demonic attack. They want to shut you down because you pray for this house. But lie. Lava so called lie. Seek at the Yeah, Come on, Jesus. Come on. Oh, ha, there it is. Come on, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Oh, 
misconceptions that the church has is thinking that the, the Joshua generation was ran by youth. But it was people 
people like y'all, and I'm not saying y'all old, but y'all not old. Y'all that led 20 year olds yeah. into their destiny. Yeah. Yeah. what God is about to do. I see a youth being renewed. I yes, I'm yes, 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 you yes, 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 all I keep hearing is because Joseph dreamed the dream. Yes. Because you said yes to something you didn't even, it was way too big. You was like, ah. God said, because you said yes, God finna make it all come to pass. Despise not the day, small beginnings. I don't care how long we've been in the most side, we've been doing ministry. This is the beginning. This right here is your baseline. It ain't gonna get no lower than that. Nah, 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 nah. We only go up from here. We on the my side. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm trying to make sure they see it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been stretching yourself thin. Stretching yourself thin. But I hear God saying this to you, Joseph. That there was somebody you connected to in this thing. They're going to call you. And they're going to invest in you. In you. And no, 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 no. In you. Because the Lord said it's time for you to settle. It's time for you to settle. And He want to work on the preacher. But somebody finna invest in Joseph dream. Joseph dream. Billy Basaba. I just see the studio. My coach he kept it. They got the money. They gonna invest in you. But God said he wanna sell you. Tosa. Cause there's a there's some things he want to address with you because there's a preacher. There's a preacher. There's a preacher in y'all. Y'all just ain't musicians. I was, I was teaching. I've been teaching. I've been teaching at the moment. I've been teaching my church up on whole side. When I've been studying, I ain't taught them yet. They, cause they, they might get ready for it. I've been teaching them about, about the Levites. About the Levites. About the whole. All the Levites were preachers. Yes, sir. Their secondary gift was music, was building. There's two groups of people in the Bible I said that we don't really talk about the Kohites and the Kohathites. Shut up. <laughs> Woo, they were the Aaronites. That's what they were called. God said he's birthing a new Hondo He's birthing a new musician called the Levite. The Levite. The Levite. The Lord says to all three of y'all, Basha, what that other drama? Are you the drama? Yes, sir. How old are you, sir? 44. Hey, man, you still young. That's right. I believe it. He Clean says man. to all of y'all, I'm not mad at y'all like people trying to make y'all think. But we have come to the end of our mistakes. Yes, God, God is getting ready 
He's getting ready, bro. Organ, is that you? He's getting ready. He did it in a boost. He's getting ready. I don't know. I don't know. You from LA? I live there, yeah. You live there? I live there. When? A couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. I hear God saying you were supposed to be playing the organ for somebody big. My Shokuma. God gonna bring it back around. He gonna bring it back around. It may not be them, but he gonna do it through somebody. You know why you doing this? You know why you doing this? Y'all go here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why. It's called, it's called submission. Amen. Getting under Joseph's mission. That's what it's called. And I don't mean no disrespect when I say that. I'm just saying it according to the text. You know what he's going to do it? I know, I know y'all, man. Y'all know I know y'all. But y'all scout, y'all, you scout because love me for real. Yeah. <laughs> That's what God. They don't both say. That's what God. Cause, cause if I had it, if I had it, and I was flowing, I would do this for free. That's right. I hear. Yeah. I hear. And God finna make it happen. Right. God finna make it so push it. Because y'all are similar to preachers. You never want to be playing and wondering. Like, oh, right. Push up at him. So God. <laughs> even you singers. Every singer in here, lift your hands high. High. Even y'all. Even y'all. Y'all not going to accept it. Even y'all. Even y'all. My shade. So come here. My na 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 na. Lady, lady here, Miss Lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause, cause when I looked at you, I saw you on the stage. I told so. Kala da na mando so. Oh, my shade. See, my mama. Oh, my shade. Oh, my. Every person in this season that submits. The Lord, Mana, Mando, Shote, the God is going to make it happen for you. And I'm all saying, Alamondi Asa, Alamondo, Jose, Catalamase, Calamandi, Calamandi. Come here, come here. Uh, I, I know they call you. What is your name? Joy, Joycey, Joycea, Joycea. Come here, Joycea. I want to pray for you. I know you. I know you belong to our church, but I want to pray for y'all. Got some oil? Yeah. Right there, there. I need some oil. Nothing bad for you. Ain't nothing bad. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you because the Lord said. Because the Lord said because you came in and submitted. He finna break a curse. Mandi Asa said from where you came from. They prayed that you stay where you are. And that that's the most something they say. And that that mind that everything about you be cursed. But my God, but that be broken off your life. I see God about to send a wind of favor to you. And you, uh uh, you all get that in mind. You get ready to move closer down that way. You get ready to see the other side of God. God is breaking the spirit that type of, It ain't come from you, a spirit of poverty. But it didn't come from you. It didn't come from you. People that are the say, He are so mad. People tried to pimp you. Oh, shy. Yeah. Time they say, Oh, shy. This is why, yes, Lord, even I, I got you. I see you. I see you. This is why even the devil who saw with you being there, you hesitant because I'm not on the love. Yeah. But the Lord tell me, shy. 
The Lord said, You alright? Demand so every word curse spoken against your life by side. Sick about every word of condemnation. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. It ain't you. My knees say it ain't you. But it's what's better. It was still being spoken. The Lord said he needs you to start praising God and rainbow like you belong to them. I shot. It's a temporary. Give I know you belong. Yes, God. Top. Me. Show my. Come on, Jesus. Come on. Come on, Jesus. I see it again. Come here, uh, preacher Iris. I see it. I see it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lift your hand. Praise the Lord. Because it's the same thing for you. There were some spirits that are trying to call you back to a place of bondage. Trying to represent themselves. And they pray that your whole life be hard till you submit to them. But I bring that thing to you. God is going to call some us so God is about to call some monies to be returned up to you that were taken and they shot there, there is even the, 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 the Lord said the even because of your help, God said he's erasing your name off some legal paperwork. So, God is cleaning up your name. The Lord says to you the same thing. You got to relax. And you got to praise God like you belong. Because you belong. You are the most saved. You're accepted in the beloved, first of all. And you're accepted together. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, Tosha. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, Jesus. Be shy. See for two. Sit in my notes 
and that cloud that I tied, that I saw was glory. And the moment the Lord rebuild you, my shot. Every church that told you down in praise and worship told you you're never mind, you'll never do it. The Lord revealed you. I will shout. And you're going to do that and more. Bye 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 shout. Bye 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 The Lord said, ain't nothing holding you but you. Bye 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 shout. Tonight, my go shot. Watch you start singing to you again. Oh, shot, my. You ain't even, you ain't even did this album, and God's gonna give you a whole nother one. Oh, shot, my God, my shot. It's all about shot day, said my God. The Lord said, I got nothing but my mama. I gotta make the devil out of a lie. Because you know what they saying? She'll be back. She gonna be back. She gonna be with us. Cut the rules out. But another moment, y'all. But something has happened in your memory. Hunger shot. And then another moment. And it ain't gonna let you go back. You ain't got no desire to go back. Shot out. Y'all go here, right? Y'all, 
Y'all got the temper they faithful, ain't you? That's right. They're my babies. The Lord. I look at y'all. I look at y'all all service. And this is the first time for a long time that I really saved people that was married and really loved each other. All right. Yes, people come down and they play. Yes. Yes. Can you grab your wife's hand? Yes. The Lord that did in that mind. Y'all y'all gonna get the oil that come from your leaders. That that not mine. That's coming. But the Lord said, for you about time of shot. For y'all faithfulness, I hear why he's selling me now. He want to give y'all bigger for less in a better neighborhood. So you ain't got to stress when you leave the house. Worried about your wife. Yes, God. How long y'all been married? Y'all got kids? people they don't believe God but there's something where he didn't do everything God finna get rid of the muscle God finna get to that now God finna get rid of the set and free Thank you. 